What's good guys, Mike Mu here. The company Side by Side sent out one of their tech organizer patches for me to do a first impressions review. So here it is. It is by Side by Side Gear, and this guy is a sort of uh, ultra portable travel uh, item that allows you to go ahead and put in a lot of items that kind of fit in some of an elongated structure like this. Now, I, I haven't had something like this in this type of size in a while, so it was a little bit more challenging for me to figure out exactly what I would put in a case like this. Because for the most part, when I am packaging, I usually have something a little bit more squarish rather than something more elongated. So I think this is something that is really great for someone who is more minimalist. As you can see, I have packed it a little bit to the brim and a little bit more to the limits because I tend to have items that are a little bit bigger uh, that fit in here. So uh, rather than go ahead and tell you what to pack, I'll just show you exactly what I packed in here. And I'll, I would just say that I've only taken this out on one trip. So these, of course, are my first impressions review of using it for one trip. All right. Naturally, over the coming weeks or months, maybe as I travel more, as COVID restrictions go ahead and release lacks up a little bit more throughout the United States and elsewhere, I'll be doing more traveling and then I'll have uh, figure out exactly what I would fit into the groove of, of things as I travel. All right. First off, I want to say that the zippers are actually feel very high quality and I like the minimalist look and style of this. There are no logos on here whatsoever and obviously they're not YKK because YKK put zippers, uh, put their logos on here, but these do feel pretty good. I definitely like the finish uh, of these and um, the thing I've noticed really closely is that this these will eventually show wear and I guess I'll have an update later on months down the line as I use these more. Uh, about this type of finish, but it definitely looks really sleek, really nice and very professional right now um, after just uh, roughly a week of travel. Okay, so at the top we have a little handle grip and these are permanently attached. It's a nice little style going on here. As you can see, you got the little side by side logo on here and these are not interchangeable nor are they adjustable. Uh, I feel like s something a little bit more adjustable would have been nice, but at least it has one so that you can just carry it and pull it out of the bag. Now, for all intents and purposes of the way that I would probably be using this and the way that I've used this is to stick it in a backpack. All right. And that could be the Peak Design Everyday Carry Backpack. And then you can just pull it out from the side or stick it length down wise uh, into any type of your backpacks and then have something else here um, about roughly I'd say this would take roughly like a third the width of a typical backpack that I'd be carrying. All right, as we move along down here, you'll see there's some bulge over here on this side and on this side. Now, if it didn't have that bulge, I probably wouldn't be able to fit as much as I fit in here right now. Now, I didn't intend to pack this to the brim. This is just roughly what I decided to fit in here, okay? So, as you can see, you can see there's a bit of an outline in terms of things that you put in there. Now, if you remove the things, what's great is that you don't lose that space, right? It, it contracts back into the bag because this is a flexible type of soft neoprene here in the middle. Whereas the sides here are a little bit more rigid to give it more structure, right? And you got this this protective band around here that gives it gives it that overall structure. Now these are not compression straps, but at the same time it does compress things down and, and help to keep things uh, more aligned uh, inside. All right, so I, if I open this up, we'll see. First of all, we have an organizer section here with uh, with different pockets and different elastic bands to go ahead and keep certain things a little bit more organized. All right, so I got the Mac, I, I got the Apple dual MagSafe charger that I have in here. I have just a miscellaneous cable. I might have another miscellaneous short cable here. I got some AirPods. I got my USB-C dock over here, which would uh, basically support me when I'm using my MacBook uh, M1. And then in this, you got a little protective little pouch section here that you can zip up and make sure things don't fall out. So you put little knickknacks. Uh, you can even put in like a SIM card ejection tool or anything like that. Right now, I just have SD cards in here. Furthermore, also inside a plastic bag as well. So that's what I have going on over here. As you can see, there are three different segments here that you can actually stick in. So I could stick in one of my micro mini pens on here. And of course, I can probably stick in some other power bricks here instead, right? But I, I put those elsewhere. Now, if I flip this over, 
your two elongated sections over here. I got a USB light over here, and I got an iOS uh, adapter, audio adapter that I have over here. Now, I haven't really been using, as you can see, I haven't really used, been using these parts up here uh, very much over this past week. And, um, you know, I, I'll, I'm definitely thinking about doing a little bit more over here. The, the thing is that these are really meant for really flat items, you see. So here's a pocket over here as well that I could probably stick in some extra dollar bills or cash or tickets or something that would make sense over here. I don't want to put anything bulky here because when I put anything bulky here, that's going to push up against this whole section and I already have this part pushed up. So this sort of forces me to be a little bit more minimalist and try to uh, pack only the essentials that I need for the period of time where I'm just going to be traveling with this tech pouch. Naturally, in my use, I'm probably going to use this as a supplementary uh, type of thing. So I'm going to have to think a little bit more about how I'm going to package that. Here is a pen slot. And I have not traveled with a pen, but I do have my Apple Pencil. So my Apple Pencil could potentially go here. But really, I just keep that magnetically attached to my uh, iPad uh, Air. Okay. So that's what's on this side. Uh, and on this side is the main side where I just kind of stuff everything in. All right. So if I zip this up, this does not open up all the way like this side because that could be uh, pretty annoying to deal with if both sides are just like that when you really want something a little bit more secure that you're going to push down in here. So when I go to hotels, uh, I have to bring a lot of cables to charge. Unfortunately, that's the case when I do have a lot of electronics equipment and things that I need to charge for both myself, my wife, and, and my family. So uh, here I have a Narbox USB. This could be just really any AC USB uh, type charger, but this is for, for the Narbox in particular. Uh, sometimes I have my USB-C dual charger either from Anchor or someone else uh, to go ahead and support my MacBook charging. But it's not as critical for me because uh, the MacBook M1 lasts so long. All right, so here's a bunch of cables. I usually take them all together and wrap it up like this and just stuff them down below. And it fits perfectly. There's a lot of cables in here. I got USB-C cables primarily because the rest of the world has moved on to USB-C. And then I got a, um, you know, Apple lightning charger and this is a native union cable that doubles not only as a lightning cable charger but also a uh, micro usb charger so i pretty much have everything that i really need covered uh, in this little kit so what i do is i just basically wrap it around and stick it on in there all right in the bottom here i i actually managed to fit another and this is what i'm talking about is another one of these uh, USB-C chargers. This one in particular, I might have did a video on or might not have. It, I really like because it's got up, up to 100 watts. I think it's the Omnia charger, Aki. I'll have links down below. And it has dual USB-C chargers. So I can, I basically have my bases covered and what I have, I match this with the cables that I have here. All right. So I got three USB-C cables. Okay. MacBook, uh, something else. And then the USB-C to Lightning to go ahead and power my MacBook, I mean, my Apple MagSafe Dual. I got standard USB-A for all the other cables, which basically is the native union cable because I haven't switched that USB-C yet. So that's pretty much all I have in here. And that's it, it's pretty minimalist. It's pretty small. I actually really like the design of it. And if anything, this forces me to be a little bit more minimalist. If, if I was just only to pick the essentials for the day or for the next couple days or for the week, Something like this would work out just fine uh, for my uses. Now, if I'm traveling a little bit further, I know I'm going to do some other projects. Clearly, this is not the only case that I'm using. Uh, one of my favorites, of course, is the Peak Design Tech, uh, Tech Pouch, I believe. And I have two of those. So I use those to supplement, but sometimes that's just too bulky to bring with how much I put in here. So this will fit nicely right in my backpack. Um, and uh, so is my everyday carry in a small backpack for the next uh, couple of weeks as I use this a bit more. So if you're interested in getting this, I'll have links down below. The company, of course, is side by side and you can see on their website or on their page and even in this this marketing campaign piece uh, brochure here that you can see that they give you some ideas about how you can go ahead and use the side by side. And while this looks like it's it's all nice and good and organized, clearly it's not the way that I'm using it. As you can see exactly the way I used it over the, the, the past uh, week or two.
All right, that's it for this video. Please give it a like, subscribe for more. I'll catch you next one. And one last thing I want to thank Side by Side for sending this out to me for uh, first impressions review and to give my honest thoughts and opinions. If you are a bag maker manufacturer, I'd love to do these type of things. Uh, please reach out to me. Details, of course, in my YouTube profile. And let me know, you guys, if you like more videos like this. And if you do, just comment down below so that I can make sure that uh, I, you know, I try to put more of these videos into my channel. Thanks for watching.